the bike show. You just have to add that part, right? Yeah, I had to. <laughs> anyway, welcome to another episode of Chronicles of Kenyan Bikers, Tris Bikes Mashup. And uh, right in front of us, we have two lovely bikes. I think two people commented that they wanted to see these two, or one of this one bike to be featured. And we have it on the show today. It's the 250 CF Moto NK, right? Yep. Tris, say hi to the people. Hi, guys. Tris again. You guys never called me. Anyway, I'm sure one or two did. people called you, right? They did call. You should call, call, call her. We, we, we remember we did that whole thing, so she should actually be called. Yes. Right, just just call. Oh, Come, get, 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 a, get a bike, get a bike. <laughs> Anyhow, straight up to the bikes. No, first of all, you heard about Diamond International? No. Okay, I don't know. Even me, I, I really don't know who Diamond is <laughs> or Tanasha. But anyway, let's. I just heard about it. It was on, it was on my Google. Thing. That and I was like, who are these people? But anyway, <laughs> back to bikes. Remember, this is the bike show. <laughs> so, the 250 CF Moto NK, mm -hmm. or rather, the CF Moto 250 NK. Yeah. Tris, tell us about this wonderful machine in front of us. So, first, someone who would actually be considering a 250 NK is either a newbie, it's a good it's a good beginner bike. It is a good beginner bike, yeah. that's true. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and someone who's upgrading from a 150 or a 200 to see air yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because this mm -hmm. one features liquid cooled, mm -hmm. 250 cc. Actually, yeah. the displacement for Vic is 249.5. Uh, single cylinder. Yep. Single right. cylinder EFI. EFI Porsche engine. EFI. And two it, riding modes. Two riding modes, yeah. right? Yeah. Sport and eco. Sport and eco mode. Yeah. yeah. We live in a world that needs to be green. So it punches out how many horsepower? About uh, 26. 26. Round off. 27. 27 brake horsepower. Yeah. Yep. Now we just have to mention the fact that it looks like the K T M, right? <laughs> yes, it's been designed by Kiska. Kiska, so, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're the same designers for the KTM. Yep. So there's no much difference in yep. terms of looks. Yeah, actually, yep. even not even just in terms of looks. Even the engine, the yeah. engine is pretty much the same. The frame is the same. The tread is a lightweight frame. The weight might be a bit different. This one comes out at about 151 kilos. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. but either way, that's fine. The seat height, you were mentioning something about the seat height yeah, earlier on before we started yeah, talking yeah, on the show. Yeah, yeah. That I, I was worried that some chicks are quite short. Yeah. So I wanted to know, I was, we were trying to discuss who would actually flat foot on the bike. So someone like 5'8", yeah. from 5'8", 5'7". I think, I think flat footing is not really a priority in all this time I've been riding, mm -hmm. but if you feel like a flat foot should be for you, I'm guessing if you change the seat, that'll be fine without messing around with the suspension. Yeah, or that'll you can make the suspension softer so that when you sit, you go it lower. goes down. But only if you're not carrying a passenger. Otherwise. Only if you're not carrying a passenger. Anything else about this one? The styling is, you can see it on camera too, that the front forks are upside down and then it has a rear monoshock at the front, at the rear, which makes the handling very good. Good, yeah. By the way, right? Yeah, in fact, we are racing this bike this year. Yeah, so. yeah, you better watch out in this season yeah. of ESBC yeah. that you will see the 250 and racing, the racing, racing. It will yeah. be racing. And the cafe racers, and the ones for the other episodes. And will our previous, be racing if, too. If, if you haven't watched the other episode, just watch. Watch the other episode. But anyway, more about this bike, right? Yeah. What, so, how much does it cost? Yeah, uh, it goes for 419 and we have two color options black and silver. 
but for now black are the only ones which are remaining yep for the 300 you can get a silver and a black one they really resemble each other okay that's yeah. good and yeah. as most eagle eyed viewers would notice that we have the 300 with us uh, they're pretty much equally matched this one has slightly more power than this one and the whole reason is that the world is moving towards bigger displacement bikes but then still maintaining that whole small engine eco-friendly day-to-day use the 250 still has a place in history for us and if you look up most comparisons you would find that 250 is pitted against 300 and you'd find it a better preference than the bigger engine ones but either way the two bikes are amazing and we are going to test one of them out we're going to be riding this one right yeah we haven't talked about the tank oh yeah the tank fuel fuel tell us about the fuel capacity 12.5 liters um i know people would ask top speed mm -hmm. I've actually done 156. Jeez, on this one. 156. But yeah. just remember, gravity was on my side and the wind was blowing me. Okay. So, so, so. So I had like 10, 10 kph. You up. are brave. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know, and most people will know that these bikes are not built really for their top speed. Yeah, it's not. Good. They're your day to day bikes, yeah. easy to maintain. City right? bikes, yeah. City bikes, not nice. The consumption, like. Consumption is fantastic. Yeah, 45 liters. 45, 45 kilometers, kilometers to the per, meter. Yeah, per liter. Yeah. That's the quoted one from the factory, but you did 42, yeah, right? Yeah, I did 42. Oh, just mention that you owned okay, one. Fine. I owned one. Yes, yeah, she owned one, right? Owned so one. she knows everything about it. Yes, so at yes. least she's better suited to tell us about this bike. Yeah, uh, I'm going to test it out for the first time, but most of the information you're getting from Tris. And you've sold a few of this. Yeah, yeah. Right? A lot. So if you're any any of you has has this bike, please make a comment. Tell us more about this bike, the maintenance. Yep how it is living with this bike so that's very important because you're going to have this thing it's an investment it costs about close to half a million yeah, shillings yeah. right 419 but that's a very competitive price for a brand new bike so i really encourage any owners of this bike tell us more we really need the information out there and if you are interested in a beginner bike it doesn't matter why in quote no because you don't have to be a beginner to buy this bike oh, true. yeah so many it's actually fun to ride a small bike because you can ride it to the limit exactly i'm so sure like i own a 600 and I've never pushed it to the limit, but I love these bikes because you can push it to the limit and still think, you know what, I'm still there. But I'm not saying that, don't, don't do that with this. Don't, no, don't just, try it. I, it's just, just, just put it out there, right? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Tris, anything else you want to tell us about this bike? Um, just buy it. Just buy it, right? Yeah, Price is good. It, I mean, yeah. It's available. Yeah, one year warranty. One year warranty. It covers uh, any manufacturer's defects, yep. transmission, yep. The, ele the electronics, and the engine. Okay, see? Yep. That is so competitive so you guys make sure you come and check it out at beth mobility where is it located uh carry road carry road madaraka madaraka oh you call me oh you call her please just call her zero seven one one eight four seven four eight one we will not edit and it don't out edit it I, i've spoken after we'll not edit it out okay <laughs> all right peace guys wave to the people please wave to the gang sign okay thanks Yo, welcome to another episode of Chronicles of Kenyan Bikers. I am on the CF Moto 250 NK, non ABS edition. And, uh, oh, I've been riding it that hard. The fun has actually come on. <laughs> so I've ridden a little bit and I've enjoyed myself. This little bike is 249 displacement, 27 brake horsepower, it's actually 26.5. And. It feels like the power is enough. The power is enough. The brakes are fantastic. This is the non-ABS edition, so we don't have the electronic control over the brakes, but uh, pressing both front and rear brakes, I've actually stopped quite quickly. And um, ergonomics are fantastic. As a naked bike, obviously the ergonomics are gonna be good. And this one makes sure it ticks that box. It is so comfortable. <laughs> I am loving it so much. Loving it. I can see very nicely. The mirrors are fantastic. I can see behind me clearly. Fabulous little mirrors. Actually, they're quite big. And they don't feel like they are protruding too much. The handlebar is nice and tucked in. And early on, I was able to weave in between vehicles comfortably. Of which, this traffic jam shall allow me to demonstrate. The lights are all LEDs. They look beautiful. Um, and it's better on the power consumption of the vehicle and the riding oh my goodness it's so balanced 
the distribution of the weight is so nice well we should mention that this has um, KTM engineering um, through Kiska Kiska is the guys who engineer the KTM so with that in mind you know that this is gonna handle quite well you can see that I, I was I came to almost a dead stop and I was able to maneuver now I have a complaint about this horn and turn signal like you can see how close they are right I keep I kept hitting the <laughs> kept hitting the the, the 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 horn instead of the turn signal and vice versa. Now handling characteristics: front upside down forks, rear monoshock, and they're quite comfortable on Bagathi way. Bagathi way is quite bumpy and rough, and it's handling the bumps. I didn't even feel those. Oh my goodness gracious! This is a lovely little bike. It's a lovely little bike, and navigate through here. They don't feel too big. The handlebars that's good um i can see nice and round me clearly yes that's fantastic um change gears that i didn't even realize yeah that's the thing about small bikes you probably would need to rev it a little bit high but if this bike feels like it can actually take it and the power the torque is coming right there i think it has 22 newton meters of torque at um 7,500 RPMs and the most pre-course power you get is at uh, 9,000 RPMs which is not too bad with a bike that revs up to maybe 10,000 yeah you're a bit pushing it for 250cc but that's quite all right this bike's not built for the top speed and on the nimble factor this is just great this is just great I'm lane splitting here hello kids <laughs> I've not seen a real rear windshield being able to be top down like that yeah but anyhow and the nimbleness is great i love the screen but i love analog more because it's very visible but this one apparently has two settings the day and night so that's good the riding modes has two riding modes eco and sport i am solidly fixed in sport <laughs> but if you want to put in that one i guess you can just switch to many oh i've taken off from pretty much zero thank you very much Usually these drivers are not the most kind or the most uh, cautious on the road, but that one has graciously given me way. Who knew? Who knew? But anyhow, back to the review. So, I was almost a dead stop and I took off on gear too. That's, that's actually quite interesting on the gearing. Uh, I think I read somewhere that the gearing is one of the highest compression ratios, so that's actually quite good. Uh, Victor can explain that a little bit better. Let me just zip through here. Woo! yeah it's a bit complex and yeah but anyway that's for another episode <laughs> apart from that i'm actually loving this bike quite a lot i have a nice field of view oh my goodness i'm comfortable the bike feels like it just has enough power uh yes i know most mainstream manufacturers are moving away from producing the 250 cc bikes to 300 because of more power more highways handling on the i mean power on the highways which is true but you'd find that so many of these uh, 250 cc bikes um are in competition with the bigger engine 300 cc so there's still a place on this planet of ours for these bikes which is very welcome i like them if i was to get a secondary small bike i'd probably get a 250 cc and since riding the cf moto is right there one of them is a terrible driver yeah oh, this is definitely up there in consideration so another thing about this bike is uh what can i say negatives oh this this panel here this panel this probably be changed for something because the, the horn and the night just way too close to each other i'm used to i'm um, being down here but i guess it's fine and then even the indicator is the horn indicator is right next to the <laughs> the turn signal so that's something i'm probably going to change oh look at this this is a big boy <laughs> look at that white boy exhaust jesus christ and all those gauges and he's on his phone it's okay it's traffic <laughs> but anyway on the cons um uh what what could i say about the cons uh the price is good it's not too bad it's a fair price oof oh completely my fault yeah but he's so much on this side not giving me an all space on that side our cons i guess it's just the riding panel maybe the power is just a little bit low but again as previously mentioned i'm a bit greedy on power uh being used to a big bike but it feels enough it has a get up and go like from gear two i've just accelerated away 
I'm not gonna post the 0 to 60 lap time, I mean, uh, time. <laughs> Some of those things sometimes don't matter, especially when it comes to these smaller bikes. Um, the clutch is a bit too sudden. Like I stole when I was starting out um, because I'm not used to it because it's a hydraulic clutch and so I think it needs some getting used to. Um, the screen, I think in the newer version they put a TFT screen with a day and a night mode. But this one is doing all right. It has a lot of information, which if you're into that, that's good. The gear indicator is a welcome plus, which is a very, very good. Oh, I love this. I love this. It's going to turn nicely. It can turn nicely and pull out and get too. Oh, look, you see, you see, I'm trying to cancel it. I keep hitting it. <laughs> but anyway, it has so many pros well priced good enough power it's vibrating quite a bit but i guess with some proper oil and service we could do pretty well the brakes are good and it's comfortable so yeah, so far so good you see that there's a, there a problem i was complaining about early on the brakes are i mean the, the clutch is just a bit snappy so that's what i don't like about this but it's hydraulic assisted so for me it's the part I'm getting used to but anyway that has been my review of the CF Moto 250 NK and we love it I give it a four out of five stars anyway guys that has been it for me I am taking this baby back to the showroom that yeah, has been fantastic thank you for watching this episode thank you CF Moto for giving me this opportunity make sure you like subscribe and share peace guys always ride safe Bye.